Hi guys, Kaze from Cape Town. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, listen, I designed and made these little guys. There they are. And there's a black one. All right. Now, what I want to do with these guys is I want to see if these guys can assist in building coils and how efficient they are in building coils. All right. So, um, we have refined this. I had a, a mate design this on on CAD, obviously. Um, I gave him the design, the dimensions, everything. He designed it on CAD, and then he did a three three D print of these guys. But up and up and close, I will quickly show you that each one of these guys have got a small little slit in them. All right, and this little green one is the twenty eight gauge. And this little purple one is the twenty six gauge, and this little guy is. The 24 gauge all right so i had five of each printed to see how much they can actually assist me so we we're going to try a few different builds and actually see if it helps and yeah if these things are useful then you guys can make your own then you know that they are great i just decided to design a sticker for mine there it is all right coil it uh just call it kaiser's coil easies but we'll see if it actually works and how easy it is all right so the first thing which i'm going to try out is because because i've got my daedalus now i've already taken a few 26 gauge wires and straightened them out and these guys will assist me there but yeah because i've got the daedalus i just wanted to see if i can take three 26s and wrap them with a 34 while these little beads keep them nicely together so what i did is i put a bead as remember this is 26 gauge so to keep everything together, I actually put them through a 28 gauge in front so that this bead stays there, keeps these three wires in position, which you will see up on the close. And then on the underside, I actually included one there, and then I included a one on that side. These guys are obviously the beads for the 26 gauges. All right, so let's quickly go up and close so I can show you what these little beads look like. Right, so here we have the little beads together. As I said, these guys are the 24 gauges, these guys are the 26 gauges, and those guys are for the 28 gauges. Now, I've already used one of them, and I've got two of them, which I've got inside my Daedalus rig over there. So that's why there's only three there, and so on. But I want to show you the little slits up and close. All right, now there you can see the slit inside the 24 gauge. Okay, there you can see right through it. Okay, there you can see the 26 gauge, and you can see right through it over there. Right, there's a 28 gauge. Okay, small little slits. Okay, guys, so here I have got my Daedalus. This is the first setup which I want to test. If you bring this closer, if you have a look over there, and actually see. See, I've got three wires next to one another. Three wires. And as I said, these are 26 gauges, and I have got the 28 gauge um, little bead over here. So that I can keep these wires nicely together, as you can see. Nicely together. On the underside of this, I actually included another bead over there. Okay, which is a 20 normal 26 gauge. And at the back, I have put another 26 gauge. Alright, so if we zoom in here, this is what the wire actually looks like. It doesn't look bad, but I mean, it is not next to one another. Okay, it is still round. So it didn't keep these 30, uh, 26 um, gauge wires. It didn't keep them next to one another. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another three, and then I'm going to put it through 
326s. Then I'm going to put it through a 28 bead. All right. And then I'm going to put through another one. Okay, I'm going to put through another one. So there we have it. This is what I've got at the moment. So I will put this just like this is, as is. I'm going to put inside my drill. Okay, that's what I'm going to put inside my drill. So then I will be wrapping a 34 gauge from this end. And while I move, I will just move the beads to the back and see if they actually keep this wire in place now. Okay, let's see if this works. Ah. also not gonna work okay guys so what I'm gonna try now is I actually secured these three wires lying next to one another the 326s actually secured inside my swivel over there I got one bead this side and I have got a bead which I can move along on this side so let's see if this actually works slightly better as I said, I'll just remind you, all I want to do is I want to keep these three wires next to one another. I don't want them to overlap. So I'm trying to find the best method of doing that. Okay, still nothing. They're still overlapping one another. So no, this also does not work. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to take three 26s next to one another, as you can see over there, and I'm going to put it in a 26 bead, as simple as that. Alright, so there it's inside the 26 bead. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use one bead. Well, I can, well, I can, might as well use two. Let's go for two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to secure the one end. I'm just going to secure the one end of this to the drill and the other end I'm going to put through my um, uh, spindle, oh, my spindle, my swivel, all right. And then I'm going to try and clap them from the one side, but as I clap them, I'm going to try and push this bead along. Okay, so there I've got it inside, two beads, this one bead I'm going to try and push back all the way, okay, and try and keeping these three wires together if this actually if this obviously works you can make a much longer wire okay so i'm just playing around now with the short wires to see what actually works Here we go let's see what we've got it looks good it looks better better it's got a piece of there it's got a piece of there closey 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 let's quickly show you what this little guy looks like all right do you actually see it the, this technique actually worked so yeah you've got your three wires it's nice and thin over there it's nice and wide over there so you know these wires are nice nicely next to one another right let's just get this you see it's thin on the one side and it's wide on the other side all right so it has beautifully been clapped in by a 34 gauge so let's quickly do a small little coil i'm just quickly gonna turn a coil and actually show you what it looks like all right guys so the coil i just made from that 
is this little guy and I think it looks I think it looks exceptional I think it looks great all right if you have a nice close look in there you can actually see the three wires lying next to one another all right there you can actually see it much better on this side so yeah you've got a beautiful coil so this bead actually helps with this type of build or with this type of style so yeah I think it looks very very nice so yeah it's not that hard it's easy to get these little beads or make these little beads and then you can get beautiful builds like this sweet potato nice alright guys listen you just joined me for, for the first time using these little guys these little beads and um, yeah as you can see I mean I played around that's what you're supposed to do the only problem is you're gonna waste wire if you start building these things so yeah guys like Rian Red and smile it like you mean it or smile it like you know it those guys remember that's why these um, the builds are the, the coils are so expensive all right I mean you crap in your pants when you have to pay 70 rand or 120 rand or 180 rand for beautiful coils but the guy might have lost 20 rand 30 rand 50 rands wire in the process of doing it and it becomes an art you practice a lot before you get there so yeah I will still play around with these little beads but um, you guys can also start thinking of creative ways in which you can actually um, apply these guys but yeah I did one successful build I know how to use them now to make that successful build in any case so yeah next time I'll play around more and I'm, I will record and post another successful build different build next time using these little beads Cheers guys, hope you had fun, bye bye.